Lesson 10, graphing distance versus time. In the previous lesson, we looked at an object that was traveling at a constant speed. And you could tell the speed was constant because the graph formed a straight line. In this lesson, we're going to look at an object that is not traveling at a constant speed. And you can tell because it's not forming a straight line. Here, from A to C, it's straight. But then it changes from C to D. And then it changes again from D going beyond F. So a key concept to keep in mind is straight line, constant speed. Not a straight line, not a constant speed. And we're going to show students that the speed really is changing in this graph. So let's go ahead and get started. Notice here that we're graphing distance versus time. We're measuring distance in meters, and we're measuring time in seconds. So our proportion will be using meters per second. And look at the first box. We're going to measure the speed from A to B, so from here to here. Let's set up our proportion. We have meters per second equals meters per second. So going from A to B, how far did it go? We went from 0 to 4, so that went 4 meters. Write it down. And how long did it take to go from A to B? So we went from 0 to 2, and that would be 2 seconds. So write it down here. And we have to figure out the speed. And remember, for speed, we're trying to figure out how far does it go per one unit of time. So this is 1 second. Let's solve the proportion. We divide by 2 and divide by 2. 2 divided by 2 gives you 1. 4 divided by 2 gives you 2. Write it down. And our speed is 2 meters per second. So write down 2 meters per second. Now let's go ahead and write this into the graph. So from A to B, the speed was 2 meters per second. Now for the next box. Here let's measure the speed from B to C. So here's B and there's C. Let's write down meters per second equals meters per second. And how far did it go from B to C? We started at 4 and we went all the way to 10. So that's a distance of 6 meters. Write it down. And how long did it take to go from B to C? We started at 2, ended up at 5. So going from 2 to 5, that's 3 seconds. Write it down right here. And again, we're trying to figure out how far did it go per 1 second. And now we can solve our proportion. Divide by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And our answer here is 2 meters per second. So write it down. And notice that it's the same answer that we got here. So let's go ahead and put that on the graph. From B to C, the speed was 2 meters per second. And this helps students understand that Although the object is getting further and further away, because this portion is making a straight line, this part here is a constant speed. Next box, we have A to C. So here's A, and there's C. Set up our proportion. Meters per second equals meters per second. From A to C, we went from 0 to 10, so that's 10 meters. From A to C, it took 0 seconds to 5 seconds to get that far, so that's 5 seconds altogether. And for the speed, we're trying to figure out meters per 1 second. Solve the proportion. Divide by 5, divide by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 10 divided by 5 is 2. 2 meters per second. 
and you should notice a pattern. So this portion here from A to C is 2 meters per second. So here's an important point to help students understand. From A to B, the speed was 2 meters per second. From B to C, it was still 2 meters per second. And from A to C, the speed was still 2 meters per second. The object is getting further and further, but the speed is the same the whole way through. And the way you can tell that is it made a straight line in this segment here. Now let's go on to the next box. Let's figure out the speed from C to D. And notice here that the line changes, so we're going to see a change in speed here. So let's set up our proportion. Meters per second equals meters per second. From C to D, how far did it go? We started at 10 and we ended at 10. So it traveled zero meters. Write it down. And how long did it take to go from C to D? Five to eight seconds. That's a difference of three seconds. So I'll write it down. We're trying to figure out the speed. Meters per one second. And now we can solve our proportion. Divide by three. Divide by three. Zero divided by three gives you zero. And our speed here is zero meters per second. Zero meters per second. Let's put that on the graph. From C to D, the object was traveling at zero meters per second. And here's another key concept to explain to students. You can tell that it's traveling zero meters per second because the line here is flat. Let's move on to the next box. Here, we're going to find the speed from D to E. Here's D to E. So let's set up our proportion. We have meters per second equals meters per second. And how far did it go from D to E? We started at 10 and ended up at 14. So that's a difference of 4 meters. Write it down. And how long did that take? Here, D was at 8, and E is at 9, so that was 1 second. And speed is meters per 1 unit of time, so I'll write a 1 there. And we actually don't have to do anything here because we're going to end up with the same answer, but let's work it out anyway. Divide by 1, divide by 1, 4 divided by 1 gives you 4, and our speed here is 4 meters per second, which is what we started off with. So I'll write it down, 4 meters per second. And let's put that on our graph right here, 4 meters per second. And this is where I get kids to do some thinking. Using what they know about constant speed and straight lines, before we do any calculations for E through F, what do you think the speed is going to be for this segment here. And students know that E to F is going to be 4 meters per second. How can they tell? They can tell because it's forming a straight line here. So for E to F, let's go ahead and figure it out and see if that's actually true. We have meters per second equals meters per second. To go from E to F, we started at 14 and end it at 22. And that's a difference of 8 meters. So I'll write it down. And how long did it take to go that far? E was at 9. F is at 11. So from 9 to 11, that's 2 seconds. Write it down. We're trying to figure out the speed, or meters per 1 second. Divide by 2, divide by 2, 8 divided by 2 is 4. Our answer is 4 meters per second. And as you can see in the chart, that checks out perfectly. One last box. 
we have d to f. So let's set up our proportion first. Meters per second equals meters per second. D started at 10 meters. F is 22 meters. And that's a difference of 12 meters. So I'll write it down. And how long did it take to go from D to F? D is 8. F is at 11. That's a difference of 3 seconds. So I'll write it down. Speed is meters per 1 second. Let's do the work here. 12 divided by 3 is 4. And our answer is 4 meters per second, just like we expected. So from D to F, this here is 4 meters per second. So taking an overall look, this object was changing speeds. Here, the object was going 2 meters per second. It changed and went 0 meters per second. And you can tell because it was making a flat line here. Then it changed speed again. And from here to here, it was traveling 4 meters per second. We went through this lesson pretty quickly because this video was intended for parents and teachers to watch. So when you're trying this lesson with actual students, be sure to slow down, check for understanding, and students will do just fine with this lesson.